I just started doing how do you do boy hand props today I just started doing a video for this Miller fortune and I poured it and then I had a glitch in the video cut off so but I hadn't started drinking it yet so you're just gonna have to take my word for it that I just poured this bottle into said rocks glass this is a wild turkey rocks glass but I know for a fact it holds exactly 12 ounces and there you can see it does hold exactly 12 ounces so there you go. That irritated me a little bit, but anyway, what are you going to do, right? There, here is the six-pack container. It says Spirited Golden Lager. 6.9% it says on the bottle. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Um, early press on this had mentioned that it was supposed to have a bourbon-like quality or bourbon-like flavors, but nothing on their own press really says that. Aroma is light, but it's there, so there are some caramel notes. Hmm, okay, well, <laughs> all right, before I go too much into that right there, I'm going to read this little paragraph here. Fortune is a golden lager brewed in part with cascade hops to give it a citrusy bite and caramel malt to impart an amber hue. Yeah, well, they call it spirit of golden lager there. They say amber hue. You call it whatever color you want. I'm colorblind. What the hell do I know? Um, Bloomberg got an exclusive early tasting developed with guys 21 to 27 in mind. Okay, so from there, I've said that this, this beer is what I would call that class like a Black Crown and Bud Light Platinum that I call nightclub beers that I've said before in writing and videos that it's not marketed to, you know, a 48-year-old beer geek like me. It's marketed to 21 to 29-somethings. Here they say 21 to 27, but I think you can spot me a couple years and say I'm right. The flavor is moderately bitter with hints of sweetness resting somewhere between a craft beer and a light lager. Uh, yeah, I haven't got, I've only had one sip, but they're probably correct there. Again, as much as beer geeks like to think everything's about them, especially if you're on any social media at all, or any beer geek beer groups, this isn't marketed for us. We're not supposed to like this beer. It is not for us. But we're going to try it anyway. Well, I am anyway. Uh, the flavors will emerge even more as the rocks glass warms in the hand. They're going to hold a beer glass in a way they haven't held a beer glass before. Well, that's the intent. So what are we saying? Typically, products from Miller, um, any of the big guys, you want to drink extremely cold. You're not having them warm because uh, they, get, they get a little harsh the more warm they get, the colder the better on the light lagers. This one, what they're saying is, well, hold it like you're having a cocktail. Hold it like you're drinking a drink. As it warms, the flavors will emerge, a, a much like craft beer does, but probably in not such a big, bold manner. They said, we asked, how would Jack Daniels or Maker Marks do a beer? Well, so there you go. They're, they're trying, I don't know, um, you know, I wish this, you know, again, they're not trying to do a craft beer, so my instinct is why don't you age it in a bourbon barrel, but they're not trying to do that. That's that's my beer geek mentality. They're not trying to market this to me. What they want is that nightclub beer, right? That go out on the town beer, like the 70s, uh, you know, uh, what was it? Uh, weekends were made for Michelo. You know, had Lowenbrow of a special, you know, this, this, these are the special beers. Yeah, you know, the beer geek, not the beer geek, but the 21 to 29 year old goes out on the town. Well, they, they usually drink Blood Bud, but they're going to drink a Black Crown. They usually drink Bud Light, but now they're going to have a Platinum. They usually drink, you know, MGD or Miller Light, but now they're going to splurge and, and have a fortune because it sounds important, right? <laughs> you know, what the hell, right? I'm not getting anything bourbon-like, and my, I was questioning why they want this drink out of a rocks glass before I read that paragraph there. Because so I'm wondering how a beer would benefit it. Am I going to, is the nose, is anything going to benefit from this? And what they're aiming for is for you to hold it like you're drinking and drink. And as it warms, it should become, you know, more, just more than what it is. Um, and, and it may, I'm going to have to, I'm going to stop this and do a second video and let it warm to see if it does do what they say. My initial assessment, though, is it's not bad. It's certainly not terrible. Um, if it runs about seven, eight bucks a six pack, it's probably worth it. But again, it's not marketed to guys.